Okay, well we are here today. We are not at the shop. We are not at a thrift store. <laughs> we are at Lowe's. And uh, I'm about to head in and pick the paint for the back of the shop. I've been putting this off and putting this off and today is finally the day that I decided, you know what, I just gotta get this done because the flooring is going in next week and if I keep putting it off, it's just, it's not gonna happen. So, I have to go pick a full pick a floor. I have to go pick a paint color. And I think I already know what I'm going to do. But we're going to go in and look at pink. Isn't this exciting? Today we're going to go look at pink colors. It's almost as fascinating and as exciting as watching paint dry, which I'm sure we're going to do that too. So let's go in and look at paint. All right. Well, <laughs> since it's the back of the shop and there's not a whole lot of light, I don't want to go with the dark gray. I want to go with the really, really light gray. Digging that white pepper. And there is the black that I need for my studio wall. Tricorn black. Alright, we've got the paint. Alright, there we have a black wall. Now it's just gotta dry. So I'm gonna set you guys up. You guys can finish watching it dry here for the next hour or so. And uh, I'm gonna go through some boxes. Just kidding, we're gonna go through some boxes together. But also look over here. This area is all cleaned out and ready for our new employee. And no, this is not the new employee. She doesn't really, she's proved, proven to us that she's not very productive. So unfortunately she just didn't, she didn't cut it. All right, so this is the pile of boxes that we need to go through. <laughs> this is what needs to be hauled. So I'm just going to pull a few boxes off the pile and we're going to start going through this stuff. So I've got three boxes right here and um, that seems like the best option for the day rather than watching paint dry. Actually, Dina's going to go back there and, and frame it all in and make it look nice. So um, she's going to do that while we go through boxes. So here we go. It's encroaching, if you haven't noticed. It's getting like closer up to the front table and pretty soon I'm not going to have any room up here to do anything. <laughs> All right, in this box right here, we have some trinket boxes. So uh, I, w I didn't actually notice these when I was making my notes on the auction and then I saw them coming up and I was like, oh wow, those are kind of nice. I think maybe I'll bid on those. Um, so they're not like in the best of condition, but they are they're pretty nice. This one has... Rece reception, though this is a classified ad. Receptionist, young, intelligent for National Magazine. Accurate typist, interesting, varied work. Sounds like there's a train going by. I really can't escape it, to be honest. It's just, they just follow me. They follow me. You can ask Aqua Chigger about that. It's called the Troll Train. Um, we've got this inlaid box here. And you can see there is a little bit of damage on the front. Um, this is what I was reading out of the inside. There's like a little clipping that was stuck on the inside, so that's interesting. So we got that box. This one was interesting. This is kind of a velvet box, but it's got stones on the front. This one is made in India. It's got the tag right here on the inside. You can see it's kind of faded and worn. That's nice. I like, I kind of like that it's faded. Adds a bit of character. This thing, this has to weigh probably like three, four pounds. This is insane. And there is a dagger inside. And this is a pro cut product. That's a little frightening. Oh my, it's sharp too. Wowzers. What else do we have in here? What is this? This is a little cross. I don't see any markings on it. I've been looking for any markings. Is it gold? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yes. It, wait, what does it say? Goodness gracious. My glasses haven't come yet. I've actually, they said 7 to 10 business days and it's been 11. And I've, I'm getting a little grumpy. 
This is 12 karat gold filled S and C. Little cross in there. And what other trinkets do we have? We have an elephant carrying a Christmas tree. This is like the icon of Christmas right here. Every time I think of Christmas, I think of an elephant carrying a Christmas tree on his back. There are no markings on this, but it's actually quite heavy. And it's got lots of glitter on it. So this box is marked. Oh, it's marked. Wow. JB. You can see that on the bottom. It is marked JB. And it's actually surprising how heavy this is. I feel like this is a good quality box. Look at the velvet lining. That is a quality box. So I'm curious about that. I may have to do a little research on this piece because these boxes actually went I mean, they didn't go cheap, but they didn't go like super expensive, but I was kind of wondering what's so interesting about those boxes because I just thought, oh, those are cool boxes. And um, I think it was probably that one right there because the last one is this one, which I mean, is also nice. This one is made in India. It's also velvet lined. Pretty sure that's velvet. But it's got um, inlay. It's got an inlay there. So it's also a nice box, but this one right here, I feel like there might be something special about that. So I think, oh wait, no, there's, there's more. But wait, there's more. We're not done with this box yet. There's that box over there. I'm throwing it into the box that's empty and full of paper. Oh, okay, I know, where, I know what we're doing now. This was really interesting. And I bought it because of the interesting factor of it. I'm realizing now that either it was damaged when I got it or it was damaged on its way back to me, which is kind of a bummer. It's in pretty rough shape. Darn it. I'm going to assume that it was probably damaged when I got it. Let's, let's go there because Andrew would never accidentally damage something in transit. But this is just a really neat mirror. This piece right here is where it's damaged. This is loose. Look at this mirror. It's got the two doors on the front. And it's just very ornate. You can see, I'm gonna poke my eye out with that nail if I'm not careful. It's very ornate. And that's why I liked it. I, love, I loved the painting on it. Those guys up there look like they are playing polo. Looks like they're playing polo. The top, you see them on horseback. So I don't know if that would make this um, Turkish or um, Iran. I'm not sure. It does appear that they are in fact playing polo. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I really liked it. I thought it was a name, it was interesting. Cool. Now, <laughs> right here, if you guys watched the shop video from two or three shop videos ago, we showed a tray that had some inlay, and there were actually two of them. Um, this is the other one. There are no skulls in this one. Just a very pretty lady with no uh, snake charmers. And she appears to just be sitting on the bank of a river. And there's a boat with some some birds and I think it's a bone inlay. But I thought that was really nice. Um, that, that was another item that I didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention and then it just popped up and I was like, oh, I kind of like that. All right, yeah, sure, I'll bid on that. I do that from time to time. <laughs> All right, so that was box number one. There was only like, what? six items in that box so i know the pile of box looks intimidating but if you figure like one of those boxes only had six items in it it's it's really not all that intimidating my bench just cracked i hope i didn't break it i'm kind of sitting on it a little weird today because i can't really get my legs swung under there all that well but this one should be 
of my bubble tea. All right. This one will be good. <laughs> I contradict myself. This looks like a, a liquor bottle. Rain, Rainer, Gainer glass. I think this was an extra. This piece right here. Um, this is Clarence and Bob, the founders of Rainer Glass, and I think this is, this is just a, an extra. Apparently I was bidding on something and that was just in there. I, it's items like those that will probably stick in the parking lot sale. A lot of the things that just come as extras, things that we don't really want to mess with, things that we've had for a long time. Just I, That's kind of what's going in our parking lot sale boxes, which we still have not nailed down a date on that. We will give you guys a little bit of notice on that, but still no date yet. We're building the boxes. We have a creamer that actually goes with a teapot that we had from the other day. Um, I pulled out the teapot and I told you guys there's a creamer and sugar that goes with this, but one of the pieces has damage. It is the creamer that has the damage because I'm seeing it now. So we're going to sell the teapot separate and then the creamer and sugar separate as is um, because the teapot itself is going to make a profit on what I paid for the three pieces and then the creamer and sugar will just be money on top of that. So um, that is why I purchased that lot knowing that just one of those pieces on its own, no damage, could pay for the entire lot and make a profit. Look at this. Andrew dumped all of his shelf uh, brackets in here. And so <laughs> he's, he got those really nice shelves and just dumped all the brackets in here. So I'm a little concerned that we're going to end up losing some of these brackets. And when we go to put the shelves into the actual bookshelves, it's going to be like, oh, no, we're missing a bracket. Where could it be? Oh, maybe it fell out of the banana box. We don't know where it's at. Mark my words. Here is the sugar bowl that goes with that creamer. Um, a lot of the times the Balik sugar bowls are open sugar bowls because they were sugar cubes and they were not sugar spoonfuls. So we have that. Those are just going to jingle jangle all the way to the bottom of the box. It's a little windy outside. That was the wind. I'm going there. We've got a little creamer here. This says um, Czechoslovakia, M and Z, M and Z Czechoslovakia. Hmm. There you go. Little creamer. Here is another creamer. This one is actually monogrammed. This was in a lot. And it um, looks like the letter C is on this one. I almost wonder if this is the lid to the sugar that goes with it. We've got another bottle. Is this? this is Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation, New Jersey Tercentenary. People, Purpose, and Progress. Salem Oak, Salem, New Jersey. I don't suspect that this has very much resale value. This was an extra um, that was probably in a lot. And off the top of my head, I can't remember what I was bidding on out of that lot. This is Anna H U T T E. It is lead crystal. It's a little trinket box with hearts on it. Little heart trinket box. I like that it has this original sticker. Ah, here we go. This is the sugar that goes with our creamer. So they are monogrammed, but I mean, C, it's better than having three monograms. It's just one. It could be your first name, it could be your last name.
Here is a teacup. Queens, fine bone china, made in England. Rosina china. So let's see if we've got a saucer to go with that, maybe. Maybe not. This is a Hummel. This Hummel is West Germany. This little girl with geese. Surprised there's no damage on her. Wait, maybe there is. Nope, no damage. Hmm. Little Hummel figurine. Got some little dishes here. Roosters on them, they are marked Sienna. There's two of them. The rooster cups and a rooster. I just wonder if that's a, um, a butter dish. Got a few more teacups here. Royal Albert and left in China. Those are great for succulents. If in fact we cannot find the saucers. All right, um, I'm gonna pull this item out um, and show you guys. It's kind of large. So I thought that this had a chip on it and I'm not really actually seeing. Where is the damage? Maybe this one didn't have any damage. Um, this is a Stangle Blue Jay and there are two versions of the Blue Jay I believe one is a blue jay with a peanut. Looks like a peanut to me. <laughs> right there. It's a peanut. And um what? A with a what? With a peanut. With a peanut? A peanut. What? A peanut. What did you guys think I said? Don't answer that. It's a peanut. I definitely didn't hear peanut. You heard everybody, including everyone on YouTube, heard peanut. Walk away, Walter. Walk away. We were talking about peanuts earlier. Peanuts. <laughs> Go away. Bye. I can't even. I'm trying to make a video here, people. <laughs> this this is what I put up with. Um, <laughs> there are two versions of the Blue Jay, and one has a peanut, and um, the other has. Has, has something else, and I can't remember what it is. One is more valuable than the other. I bought both of them. They came in a lot. There were two. Um, so we're going to have to dig out the second Blue Jay, and I'm not sure if we're going to find it in these boxes today, but we're going to look. Don't you know? forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget. Listen to Walter. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, they're falling all over the floor now. <laughs> oh. This is hand painted in Germany. It is floral. It's a vase. I kind of really like it. Here's some saucers. Here are, okay. We've got a nappy dish, a little lemon dish. The nappy dish, this is Nora talking. And we've got all of the saucers for our teacups. There's one item left in the box. Oh, wait, there's a few items left in the box. Oh, look at that. I can't read that. It's a really nice art pottery dish. It's kind of a stoneware. I really like that, and I unfortunately cannot. It almost looks like um, Schwartz. S C H W A R Z. I really like that scene on that dish. That's really nice. And then this. What is this? Oh, this is nice. Um, I believe that is the Royal Vienna mark with the beehive, but it is copied a lot, so not 100% positive on that, but you can see the front is, the front 
is nice. It's got some real heavy, um, heavy gold on there. So I like that. It's a nice piece. A little dish. All right, well, I have to be careful with this box because there's a lot of brackets in it, but I'm going to move this out of the way, and then we're going to get started on the last box. And, uh, yeah, we got through three boxes today. That is accomplishing something. And we painted a wall. And we left the hard part to Dina, who volunteered for it. I just want to put that out. You volunteered for that work. Yes, I did. She wanted to do it. I did not say, you must do this. She said, I love doing this. And I said, well, I want to make you happy, so I'm going to gift you this opportunity to paint the trim on this wall. And she jumped at the opportunity, so there you go. Let's uh, let's clean this up and get to the next one. Okay, we are on the final and last box, which I've got right here next to me. Oh, wait, no. There, there we go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Um, I can already see what's on the top of this box, so we've got... One of my favorite things. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of favorite things, but I had never seen these ones before. And they are Karak. Karak trays. These ones were interesting because they're kind of like like a, a sea village, like a seaport tackle type thing. Fish bait and tackle. And this is fresh fish. So there are two of them, and they're actually matchy-matchy, as Juliet would say. Matchy-matchy. And I thought that those were really interesting. I like those. I was like, oh, look at that. Karak. Here is another Karak tray. And this one's got an eagle on it. This one's a little bit more patriotic. That one. And they don't appear to have been used. A lot of the times you'll find them and they have lots of scratching on them. And these ones are in relatively good condition. Oh, I see the next Blue Jay. Oh, there we go. Got this, this box. I don't know what's in here, I forget. Oh look, it's a nice little tray. It's got all the little dishes, you can put your condiments in there, you can put your snacks. And it's got a box. It's kind of nice, I like that. Oh my goodness, this. Okay, I paid up a little bit for this because I was really I was taken with it. I was like, ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. And you'll understand why when I show it to you. Um, and this is actually the first piece I've ever bought by this pottery. Um, but it's, it's a well-known pottery. I just, I've never owned, owned a piece. I've never sold a piece. And I, I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to this one for just a little while. You guys know occasionally I'll hold on to stuff and then eventually you'll see it up on eBay because I get tired of it and I decide to let go of it um, but it is a crow or a raven and it is rookwood um, you can see here on the bottom it's a mark and it's my very first piece of rookwood he's really neat so I may put him by my bed for a little while and throw my jewelry in him for a little while and Maybe someday he will make his way back out into the world, but for, for now, he's going to remain mine. Just like the boar's head behind the camera and the masks here that are waiting to go into my studio. He will be mine for a little while. Um, I see the next blue jay here. Let's see if we can pull him out. Here he is. Oh, he's the one that was chipped, okay. Unfortunately, he is the one that was damaged. I did not realize the extent of the damage on this guy. Um, unfortunately, he is the guy that was damaged. Uh, and he is the maple leaf blue jay, I believe. That's the which one this is. But like I said, there was one with a peanut and one with a maple leaf. And I believe the peanut is the one that is more valuable. So um, that is a bummer that he's got his whole beak missing. But I figure he, he's still worth like 20, 30 bucks. Possibly someone might be, might be willing to put the work into like reconfigure or structure his, his beak. Ooh, with modeling clay, I don't know. You could just sand that down and that right there could just be his beak. I don't know. But um, he is, he is Stangle. 
single blue jay. I'll have to double check and, and see which one is worth more. But I'm pretty sure it's the one with the peanut. And this was the other one that was in with the blue jays. And I can't remember what the bird this one is. It was worth quite a bit of money, um, and that is that is part of the reason why I bought the lot, because I knew that one of the Blue Jays was worth good money, and I knew that this guy was worth was worth some good money. So, um, knowing that there was damage on one of the Blue Jays, I thought, you know what, there's still money to be made there. So, um, this guy and the Blue Jays. That was it for that box. See what I mean? I mean, don't let it be intimidating. It looks like a really big pile of boxes. But there were literally like, what? Three, four items in that box. Um, we are going to continue going through boxes, but not today because I have to go get the kids from school. Um, and then we're gonna come back here and hang out for a little while. And I'm probably gonna do some more painting in the back. Um, get the other walls done because the flooring is coming and I'm so excited. It's gonna be all done We're gonna get back to doing our Thursday 7 p.m Lives like we were doing last year. I think it was last year every Thursday at 7 p.m Eastern we were going live and I promised you guys that I would get back to it We are going to get back to it now that the studio is almost done and um, we'll get back on a schedule, but um, I'm super, I couldn't be more excited. I'm, like, I'm, I'm painting. I'm back. Look, I've got paint on my hands. I got here today, and I'm like, I'm just going to start. I'm going to start with the black wall. We'll, do, we'll, just, we'll get to it. Um, so I'm going to do some more painting today, and um, next week the floor goes in, and we're going to get right to it. I think I might order a computer today to actually get set up and, um, and get it so that we can start streaming and all of that good stuff. So... I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to go grab the kids. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed going through these boxes with me. Um, I will see all of you tomorrow. Later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.